Even the Bible warned you about the treacherous woman, the adulterous woman. Again, whether or not you're a believer, I believe you'll still gain value as when it came to uh, the Bible talking about women, I believe they were point on, man. They were dead on. Uh, this is from Proverbs 7. Okay, warning against adulteress, the adulterous woman. I'm just going to read it real quick for you. It says, my son, that's you, keep my words and store my commands within you. Okay? It means you got to internalize this stuff, guys. Keep my commands and you will live. That means you will survive. You will get through this, son. Guard my teachings as the apple of your eye. That means don't let anybody shame you away from what you're learning here, okay? Don't let anybody try to socially engineer them out of your head or shame them out of you, okay? You have to guard these teachings as the apple of your eye, just as you should everything you're learning from me here on my channel. Bind them on your fingers, write them on the tablet of your heart so that nobody can ever take it away from you. That's what this means, guys. Say to wisdom, you are my sister, and to insight, you are my relative. They will keep you from the adulterous woman, from the wayward woman with her seductive words. A lot of these chicks, man, they're, they're pretty seductive, right? They're pretty seductive, no matter how hot they are or how hot they are not. I mean, there are plenty of unattractive cheating women out there who will seduce you. At the window of my house, I looked down through the lattice. I saw among the simple, it's basically saying that I saw among all the blue pill idiots out there, I noticed among the young men, a youth who had no sense. He was going down the street near her corner, walking along in the direction of her house at twilight as the day was fading, as the dark of night set in. Then out came a woman to meet him dressed like a prostitute and with crafty intent go figure she was dressed skimpy she was dressed provocative and of course she had intent right as many of these girls do they always have some sort of intent they want something from you you know whether it's money free attention or more she is unruly and defiant her feet never stay at home just talked about this these chicks never want to be at home they always want to be out there in the world searching for the BBD now in the street now in the squares at every corner she lurks she took hold of him and kissed him and with a brazen face she said today I fulfilled my vows and I have food from my fellowship offering at home so I came out to meet you I look for you and have found you I have covered my bed with colored linens from Egypt I have perfumed my bed with aloes and cinnamon come let's drink deeply of love till morning it's basically chicks trying to pull this guy home to have sex with him this young naive guy with persuasive words she led him astray she seduced him with her smooth talk as many of these cheating women do right they do all this stuff for this strange young man this stranger this guy she doesn't even know she just met on the street corner but she won't do this for her husband she won't do this for the guy who's waiting for her at home she won't do this for the guy who actually sacrifices and commits to her moving on all at once he followed her like an ox going to the slaughter like a deer stepping into a noose till an arrow pierces his liver like a bird darting into a snare little knowing it will cost him his life now then my sons listen to me pay attention to what I say do not let your heart turn to her ways right means don't become like her don't fall into her trap guys don't fall for a Jezebel like this don't fall for the Jezebel you guys don't don't know what a Jezebel is google it many are victims she has brought down notice this is a common theme with these type of chicks she's brought down many guys you know you tend to think these bad women that you've dated fellas you, you tend to think that it was only you Right? It was only you that she brought down. She has had a string of relationships like this where she has brought down guy after guy after guy. Maybe there's those one or two guys that were able to bring her down, but for the most part, she's brought down all these guys. Many are her victims she has brought down. Her slain are a mighty throng. Her house is a highway to the grave, leading down to the chambers of death. Right? 
this is obviously a lot more dramatic, but I mean, really it's saying, this entire verse is saying that she will bring you down. She will bring you down to Chinatown, right? Proverbs 7, it is saying that you must stay away from these treacherous women, these evil women, these women who do not have your best interests at heart. I mean, they don't have any of your interest at all, right? They have no interest in anything other than themselves. Getting what they want, making themselves feel good, doesn't matter who gets hurt, okay? Doesn't matter as long as it's not her, right? These are these type of women that, you know, Proverbs 7 that the Bible's warning you about. Again, whether you're a believer or not, not here to judge you on that. I'm just here to spread the wisdom from the scriptures, right? Because I grew up Catholic. I didn't really pay attention to a lot of this stuff until I started relating it to my own life. And then I started going, oh, oh, snap, man. This is pretty, you know, dead accurate. Just a quick warning for you guys. Um, not gonna, you know, go on too much about, uh, about tonight's topic. Just, hey, you gotta watch yourselves out there. I mean, even the Bible is warning you to stay away from treacherous women, bad women, evil women, wicked women, women who are going to lead you astray, women who are going to be, you know, seductive to where you're gonna be pushing aside your own life, your own path and purpose, your own hopes, goals, ambitions, and dreams to pursue a bad person, okay? A bad soul, a bad apple somebody that cannot bring good into your life, someone that cannot bring equal value into your life, somebody who's gonna be a taker and not a, a giver. And these type of chicks generally are that type. And uh, it's funny, because the scripture, it's because the Bible always talks about how these women cannot stay home. That was like a lightning rod for me. It's like, it's so true. The common theme with these women is they can't stay home. And if you're looking for a good woman, guess what, a good woman loves to stay home. A good woman is generally a homebody, right? Bad woman is not. She wants to be out there. She wants to go out as much as possible. When she is at home, as it says in the scriptures, she is restless, okay? She's restless. She cannot wait to go out. She cannot wait to get all dressed up in her skimpy outfits to get out there and search for the BBD to get attention from potential suitors, from passerbys, from strangers, right? It all feeds into her ego and her narcissism. Feel me? With that said, I am going to wrap up here. Until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Also hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on my YouTube channel. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton when you guys actually subscribe to my channel. So please make sure you're subscribed and also uh, feel free to share my coaching videos with other like-minded friends of yours who also want to become their best versions of themselves. Not only do I want you to subscribe, but I also want you to tell your friends about our channel and have them subscribe as well so we can reach other men, okay? And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I am teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I am talking about eights, nines and tens, the exact same type of women that myself and my students are out there cold approaching and bringing into our lives every single week. And I kid you not guys, we're doing this every single week. We're doing this consistently, okay? Consistently. We're not having any dry spells or anything like that. We're doing this consistently. This is the absolute best way to support my work. And right now it's only a buck. This is the absolute best way to support my work. So if you love what I do, if you love my content, if you love my DeLorean, I love this car, 
then jump into seven months of mastery. Uh, it's real easy to get signed up. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It only takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.